Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Brie, if you are new here. And I've done this every single year and I'm already in the middle of it. But I love doing declutters and every single month for as many categories as I have, I am doing declutters. I will have my declutter playlist listed up in the eye and down below for you guys. I will have, you know, the current ones linked throughout this video. But in today's video, I am going to be decluttering my cream cheek products, which is only bronzers and blushes. I don't actually have any cream highlights anymore. I have products that are technically considered to be cream highlights, but I don't actually use them as cream highlights because it's just not how I do my makeup. But we're gonna be decluttering some bronzers and blushes today, cream ones, hopefully. Hopefully I do good. I have a weird attachment to my cream cheek products like a strange attachment to them so if you guys want to hang out and see me declutter my cream cheek products then just keep on watching okay so for cream bronzers i have six technically i have seven but i have been using the say sun melt cream bronzer as an eyeshadow primer because it's so sheer and honestly the color of it is so close to almost kind of like my just how my lids look without anything on them that I've just been using it as an eyeshadow primer because it was doing nothing for <laughs> my cheeks and my forehead and stuff like that so we're excluding that one it's it's part of the miscellaneous off in the ether crowd and as is the usual with my declutters this year I'm also including the products that are in my monthly makeup basket as well. Just, you know, I'm going through everything. I think actually the past couple of times that I've done a declutter, I've actually ended up decluttering things that were currently in my makeup basket because I had been using them a ton and I was like, oh yeah, like I'm, we're good, you know? Okay, so I did this with my powder cheek products and I kind of, for each category, I showed the one that I kind of compare everything else to as being like, the best of the best. So I'm gonna do that today as well. And the very first product is the LYS, technically what's your name, the No Limits Stick Bronzer. I have the shade Hope. This is actually my newest bronzer, but I'm gonna be so for real. This is probably one of the best cream bronzers I have ever used. The tone is perfect for me. The color, like everything about it. It's not too warm, it's not too cool. It's just super, you know, right on just the perfect bronzer shade for me. Just like that looks like my natural, you know, I'm kind of how I look when I start to naturally tan. The finish is perfect. It's not sticky, but it's just sticky enough that it'll hold on like powders that I put on top of it. It is just, it blends like a dream. It's just pigmented enough where it's not like overwhelming, but it's not so fucking sheer that I'm like, why am I wasting my time? I think this is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful bronzer and definitely like my, my standard, like I will purchase this for as long as it is available. It is amazing. Just for consistency's sake, let's go with the other stick that I have, which is the ColourPop Bronze Sticks. I have the shade La Jolla Cove. This is also a beautiful bronzer. As you can see, it is definitely a lot more warm and definitely a little bit more pigmented than the LYS one, but it still blends out really beautifully. It's a beautiful, just like formula. They're very similar in formula. La Jolla Cove is just a little bit more pigmented and a little bit more deep and warm compared to Hope. <laughs> um, but a beautiful bronzer nonetheless, definitely keeping this one. All right, this is actually probably one of the oldest cream bronzers that I have. And as you can see, once I open this, I have put in work. I should be smelling these, shouldn't I? I don't need to smell the, the LYS one because it's brand new, but this one's also pretty new to me, beginning of the year. But ColourPop does have a tendency to go bad faster than anything else, but I should still be smelling stuff because cream stuff does go bad. That almost closed on my face. Um, the hinge is definitely breaking. <laughs> it is disgusting. Um, and I will say that the, the smell has very much dissipated. This used to have like a really, really pretty smell or really pretty, really nice smell. Okay. This is by far the most pigmented 
and the deepest bronzer that I have. This bronzer, I have to be very careful with it. It is, can be very overwhelming very quickly, but it is also like the coolest tone bronzer that I have. I have since obviously really learned, like I've learned how to work with it. I sometimes will still go overboard, but it's so easy to backtrack with cream products that you can kind of fix it. It is definitely the most tacky, the most hydrating, but again, if you are any more fair than I am, I wouldn't even touch this. This is the lightest shade and it is, it can during certain times of the year be too deep for me. I'm gonna keep it just because honestly, I think that I could probably finish this off pretty soon, but I should probably put it in next month's monthly makeup basket and actually try to make a goal of finishing it. Um, I could definitely see myself purchasing this again in the future, more than likely. Um, I could just definitely see where I, I could see a future where I just prefer to purchase like the other two that I've already talked about over it just because it can be a little bit finicky to work with. Next up is the Tower 28. This is Sculptino, this bronzer, contour, whatever. I have the shade Broad. The packaging is so fucking hard to get open. Um, I bought this in December. And this is how much I have already used because it is so fucking sheer that I have to like seriously build it up to get any sort of payoff out of it. Also, that is warm toned. Don't tell me that this is a fucking cream like bronzer contour. That is warmer than my Makeup Revolution regular just cream bronzer. But yeah, it blends away to basically nothing. I'm gonna go ahead and actually get rid of it. I... It's done nothing for me. It wasn't so bad that I was like, fuck, I need to return this, but it's just done nothing for me. It's done nothing for me. So it's time for it to go. It like basically doesn't exist on my wrist anymore compared to, you can see all three of those, but it's like, doesn't exist on my wrist. It's, it's time for it to go. This is another one that's actually pretty old in my collection. Um, it's, I think from like one of the first couple rounds of when I started buying cream bronzers. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Cream Bronzer. I have the shade Sunkissed. This is also a very light bronzer. It doesn't really do much for me during the summer, but in the winter and the fall, it is such a beautiful bronzer. I am obsessed with how easily this bronzer blends itself out. It, it just like, I can just apply it with a little velour puff and it just, it's done. It's, it's blended. It's so nice. It's so beautiful. It also does kind of dry down to like a matte powder finish. So it doesn't really go anywhere, which I also love, but it's super lightweight, super easy to blend, beautiful shade. I've said it a thousand times. I could always, I could definitely see myself buying one shade deeper of this to wear during like the fall, summer and fall, but this has also lasted me so long, <laughs> so long. Like I, again, I've, I think I've had this since probably 2021, 2022, and I haven't even hit pan on it. Like I've made quite the dent in it, but I have not hit pan on it, so. And then last but not least, I have the Milani Cheek Kiss Cream Bronzer in the shade Hey Honey. This is another beautiful bronzer. This one is pretty pigmented as well. Not quite as pigmented as the Makeup Revolution one. And I think that it blends out a little bit easier than the Makeup Revolution one. And it's just like a little bit lighter than Makeup Revolution. It, it just is a little bit better. So with that being said, I more than likely will probably just continue to purchase Hey Honey over the Makeup Revolution one. I don't think Makeup, Re Makeup Revolution is bad. I just think that this is a better fit for my skin tone if I want like a little bit of like a heavier bronzer. But beautiful, keeping it. That's the bronzers. I have to go pick up my car from the dealership later. I gotta make sure I get all this shit off of me or else they're gonna be like, what the fuck? Okay, started out with six. Going down to five. Technically, started out with seven, went down to five if we count the say one. But we're not counting that. Okay, as is usual for me, I'm gonna split my blushes into cool tone and warm tone. Just makes it a little bit easier to kind of compare and contrast things without bouncing around. So I have five cool toned cream blushes, which I'm gonna be so fucking for real right now. One, it's all 
one brand, one, one type in multiple shades and then one spare. And also I don't wear a lot of cool toned blushes. Like I really don't. I am much more of a warm tone bitch. I like to have a couple cools on deck too, you know, if I'm doing a more cool tone look. But if given the free reign, I will always favor a warm tone blush. So let's jump in, shall we? Um, they are all, again, except for one, the LYS Higher Standard Satin Matte Cream Blush. I don't know what to tell you. So, first things first, I have the shade Confident, and I'm actually just going to do, like, pretty heavy swatches so that I can compare the shades, just because I, like, listen, I love the LYS Higher Standard Satin Matte Cream Blush, clearly. I have four out of the five in just cool tone alone. We haven't even gotten into warm tone yet. <laughs> um, I love him. They blend beautifully. They have great pigment, but they're not like overwhelmingly pigmented. They're just really, really, really nice cream blushes. Let me get all the OIS swatches out of the way. Next up, I have Self Love. Okay, so Confident, co uh, Confident and Self Love. So Confidence, just like the slightly more uh, rosy warm where this is much more blue pink. And now this is where it gets embarrassing. During the holidays, for my holiday haul, I had purchased quite a few LYS Higher Standard Satin Matte Cream Blushes. I love to say the full name. Um, and part of that was a gift set of three minis. And I was like, that's great. Love that. I didn't look at the shade names. I have Self Love Shimmer in a mini version. They're the same. One just has a little bit of glitter in it. We'll get there. <laughs> Let me just finish my shop, my swatches so I can compare and contrast. And then last but not least, this one's got like a little bit of a weird film built up over it. And so now this swatch is gonna be ridiculously pigmented. Last but not least, I have Unique, which you're looking at that and you're gonna be like, whoa, bitch. Whoa, bitch. And that's so valid of you. That's what I thought the first time too. I love this in the winter. <laughs> Applied with a velour puff, so sheerly. It makes the most like beautiful berry toned blush on my skin. It can be a little bit heavy. I really had to like learn how to apply it correctly, but I learned how to make it work because I own it already. I would have never probably gone out of my way to buy it, but since it came in that little gift set, I was like, I gotta see if I can make it work. So I tried and discovered my love for it. <laughs> Last but not least, I have the Milani Cheek Kiss Cream Blush in the shade Nude Kiss, which I'm gonna be so for real. I don't know why they call it Nude Kiss. It's just a cool toned pink. So this one is a little bit creamier than the other ones because it's not a satin matte. With that being said, those two are like identical. And I like the way that this one applies a little bit more. And this one's also pretty old in my collection. So I am going to go ahead and get rid of this first and foremost, just right out the gate. I actually think that this one's probably like a cross between these two, which is fine. I can always mix them together. That's not that big of a deal. Okay. So where are we? I'm definitely keeping unique. It is unique in my collection. <laughs> Pun not intended. I am definitely keeping confident. And I'm definitely keeping a uh, self-love. With that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and just keep this one. I don't need the little mini one with the glitter in it. I can't believe I did that. I originally kept both of them simply because I was like, oh, like I, you're gonna see one in just a minute that is another LYS blush that I blew through. I used it so much and I was like, well, maybe I'll use this same one just as much and I'll just blow through them and I'll just I'll kind of have a backup basically I just don't use cool tones as much as I do warm tones if I had a mini of kindness oh bitch I would have it I would keep it but having a full you know I just don't I just don't need it I don't need it okay so started out with five down to three I'd say that's pretty good I have 10 warm toned blushes, which is so excessive and unnecessary. I will say though that these kind of range in variety of warm tones. I have peaches, I have oranges, I have lighter ones, I have more pigmented ones. Like I kind of have a range here, so that's good. 
first things first, I have the LIS Higher Standards on my green blush in the shade Humble, which is like very neon, like super neon pink. At least swatch matching things together. It smells like water. Interesting. This is the Believe Beauty Cheek, like cream cheek, color me cream blush in the shade Tropical Sunset, which is not going to be that similar to this at all. I picked up so much on my finger. Oops. But I, it falls in the same category of like neon blushes. <laughs> but definitely one is like super creamy, like very pigmented. Don't get me wrong. This is like, this can be sketchy. Um, both of them can actually kind of be really sketchy, but one's very matte while one is very not. And the only other one that I'd kind of put in a similar category would be the About Face Cheek Freak in Quickie. And it's even, honestly, it's not in the same category at all. The Cheek Freaks are definitely more like blush bombs than they are cream blushes. They're a lot more sheer. Um, so as you can see, that is it tonally very similar, but pigment wise, not at all. Actually, you know what? This looks like how I want this to look, but this can be very, very a lot. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the Believe Beauty one. I do think this is a really great formula, um, especially for like deeper skin tones where more pigment would be helpful, but it can also just be very, very overwhelming. Now I'm going to go into more, my more like true peaches. So here's, this is what I mean, by the way, this is kindness. I wrecked this blush. I have not had this nearly as long as I have had, um, that makeup revolution brush blush, but uh, this is, I've put in work. So you can see it right there. Just the most gorgeous peach blush. There's no question I'm not getting rid of that. That one is like, I forgot to do it. I'm so sorry, but that one is like my standard, higher standard. Um, but that is like my, that that's, that is my standard. I <laughs> like how I said at the beginning of this, oh, I'll do my, my, you know, standard that I compare everything else to. And then I just like didn't do it again after that. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Stick Blush in the shade Nectarine. It is very, very, very similar to Kindness. Ultimately, I don't need both of these and ultimately I will always go back for kindness um, I'm gonna keep this though mostly because I'm running low on kindness and that's also how much I have left of nectarine Oh my god, I'm running low on both of them. That scares me Luckily, I have the I have the quickie shade which is Similar enough that I'll be able to get by if I you know completely run out of both of them and I'm not buying new makeup at that time But okay, nothing else is really comparable to these so I need to clean my hand is very new to me. This is the Ulta Blush Beam Cream Blush in the shade Garden Party. So this is actually currently in my makeup basket. So I've spent quite a bit of time with it. And I have some thoughts and they're not very good thoughts to be honest with you. It is extremely sheer and it is extremely sticky. I don't plan on keeping that, keep, keeping this. With that being said, I have not yet filmed my speed reviews talking about the makeup that I tried in my most recent haul. So I kind of have to keep this for now, <laughs> unfortunately for me. What I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna put it off to the side, basically put it off into, um, what's the word that I'm looking for? Purgatory. <laughs> I'm gonna put quickie into my monthly makeup basket, but I'm just gonna keep it until I can talk about it in my speed reviews and then I'm gonna get rid of it. Should I have probably just returned it? Same with the Tower 28 one. Yes, but here we are. Look at how sheer that is though. But you can also just see by how much reflect it is. It's so sticky and it like gunks up my brushes really quickly when I go to put powders over top. It's already leaving like a uh, hard pan on my powder blushes when I go to put like uh, powder blushes over top. It's just, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. It's time for it to go. Okay. Next up, I have two of the LYS. I don't know their exact name. They're like the higher standard glow blush or something like that. These are new. These are 
fucking phenomenal. <laughs> Okay, so this first one is the shade Curvy. So these are much more pigmented than especially like kindness and confident and self-love. Obviously unique is a different beast in and of itself. These are much more pigmented, but they blend so beautifully. And then this one is Focused, which is kind of like a burnt orangey with like a little bit of a cool undertone to it. Um, kind of teeters the line between kind of like how confident does where it kind of teeters the line between being warm and cool that's kind of how focused is for me right now i actually have it in my monthly makeup basket as my cool toned blush just because during this time of year i don't need like a cool cool toned blush but beautiful formula they blend super easily they last all day they don't get weird with my blush my brushes or anything like that so i'm definitely keeping these and then I have two very orangey ones, very, very orangey ones. I have the Melt Cream Blush Light in the shade Sandy Cheeks. I'm actually kind of shocked that these all still smell fine, <laughs> realistically. And then I also have the About Face Cheek Freak Blush Balm in Cowgirl. I have kind of always considered Cowgirl to be, while wow, they look so different. They look very different in person. <laughs> than they do on camera. But I've always kind of considered Cowgirl to be like Sandy Cheek's sheerer, younger sister, or maybe the older sister, I don't know, the more refined younger sister. So right here is Cowgirl, right here is Sandy Cheeks. I do really like Sandy Cheeks. It can be too much. So with that being said, I'm gonna keep Cowgirl and I'm gonna get rid of Sandy Cheeks just because it's another one, it's a lot like the, the Believe Beauty one where it can just be too much. Like it just genuinely can be too much. And here comes Squeaks, ready to squeak the day away. Okay, started out with seven, I'm down, oh, excuse me. Started out with 10, I'm down to seven. And if you're in it for the numbers of it all, total, I started out with 21 and I'm down to 15. So I got rid of six things total, which I would say for, for someone who is admittedly very, very attached, like strangely attached to my cream cheek products, I would say that that's a good, that's a good success. And it also, like, I feel good about the fact that I'm clearly using these in enough time that none of them smelled bad. Like none of them have expired or anything like that. So I, I feel very good about that. So that is going to wrap up my cream cheek declutter. What's next? can't remember. Let's find out, shall we? Give you guys a little sneak peek. What's coming up in July? July is my backup drawer, which is always a fun one because I find things in there and I'm like, why are you here? <laughs> because sometimes I just buy backups and I just, they leave them in there to die apparently. So next up is backups. Comment down below and tell me your most favorite cream cheek product. I would love to hear all about it. Please subscribe if you have not already. It would mean the world to me. Like this video, ring the bell, do all the things. I hope you guys have an awesome, awesome day. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.